In Activity 1, The Floating Paper Clip, students will encounter a floating paper clip and offer explanations for this strange behavior. By investigating questions related to the floating paper clip, students will begin to explore magnetic attraction. You will need the following material from the kit. Nylon fishing line, floating paper clip stand, large magnet, paper clip, and masking tape. You will also need to provide construction paper, scissors, and a tack or push pin. To prepare for the activity, while students are out of the room, assemble the floating paper clip apparatus. Tape the magnet to the underside of the upper support. Cover the magnet and upper support with construction paper and tape the paper in place. Then, cut a length of nylon fishing line equal to the height of the stand. Tie one end of the line to the paper clip and secure the other end of the line to the base of the stand with the tack or push pin, making sure to leave two centimeters of space between the paper clip and the magnet. Place the floating paper clip apparatus in an area of the classroom where the students will discover it when they enter the classroom. To begin the activity, encourage the students to observe the floating paper clip without touching it. Ask students, do you have any guesses about why the paper clip floats? Students will offer many guesses at this point. Write their guesses on the board. Leave room below this list to record a second list later in the activity. Tell students that they are free to touch the lower portion of the apparatus. Give them time to conduct some very basic investigations, such as tugging gently on the fishing line and letting the paper clip pop back up. Then encourage questions from the students by asking, what would you like to know about this apparatus? Explain to the students that they will answer these questions later, but that for now they should think of as many questions as possible. Offer suggestions, such as, can we make other objects float? How many paper clips will float? Can we blow the paper clip down? Will the paper clip float in any direction? Encourage students to further experiment with the apparatus in order to answer some of them. For example, they may attempt to blow the paper clip down, or they may tip the apparatus to see if the paper clip will float in other directions. Next, lead a discussion by asking, what would happen if I used scissors to cut the area above the paper clip? Or, what would happen if I passed a piece of paper between the clip and the upper support of the apparatus? If the students then use scissors to cut the area above the paper clip, the magnetic field of the magnet will be temporarily deflected and the paper clip will be freed from the pull of the magnet. The result is that the paper clip will fall. The piece of paper, however, will not affect the pull of the magnet on the clip. After students have had time to investigate, encourage them to suggest new guesses about how and why the paper clip floats. This time, however, tell them that their guesses must be based on what they have already observed about the apparatus. Draw a line on the board beneath the first set of guesses and add these new guesses below the existing ones. Ask students, how do these new guesses differ from the first set of guesses? Explain that a hypothesis is an idea based on what they have already discovered and that the second set of guesses were based on their investigations of the apparatus and are therefore hypotheses. Finally, suggest that a student remove the construction paper from the apparatus. When the magnet is revealed, ask students, what is this? If the students are unsure, provide a simple definition based on their observations. For example, a magnet is an object that attracts certain other objects toward it. Ask students, now that you know about the magnet, how can you explain your observations of the paper clip? Explain to the students that the magnet attracts the paper clip pulling it upward so that it appears to float. Then tell the class that they will continue to investigate magnets for the next several days. To conclude the activity, put the floating paperclip apparatus where students can study it during the days that follow. Store the magnet with the other large magnets in the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.